Hey everyone, it's Tony Cotaspani from Great Vocal Majority, YouTube channel, podcast, and website, among other things. And today, uh, we had some interesting developments in terms of this collusion issue, or non-issue, if you will, with uh, the Russians and Mos you know, Russians and uh, Trump uh, or his campaign. And here's what's happening. There was some kind of a briefing by the uh, by the Deputy Attorney General of Congressmen and Senators today. And coming out of that meeting, it's interesting that the Democrats now are calling for an independent commission, not an independent uh, prosecutor or counselor or whatever he's called, like the former FBI director, uh, Mueller. They want something entirely different. They want a, a, a commission, kind of like the 9-11 commission and they're demanding it. Now, why would they do that? Well, there's some interesting little hints coming out of this meeting because a congressman named Brad Sherman went before the uh, microphones and a couple of reporters, and he made the following statement. Only incompetent collusion is detectable collusion. It's not that hard to collude without it ever, without it never being detectable at all especially when it is entirely common for campaigns to talk to foreign leaders and foreign ambassadors. Only incompetent collusion is detectable collusion. <laughs> now, what do you th Now, I don't I don't quarrel that incompetent collusion is uh more easily detectable than uh competent collusion. But that doesn't mean competent collusion is undetectable. Anyway, he's saying this. He goes, it's not that hard to collude without being detected at all. Well, now what are they doing? What are the Democrats doing? What happened in that meeting that made them say that? Well, you know what happened. You don't have to be in the meeting to know. The Deputy Attorney General Rosenstein said to the people gathered there. It was a private meeting. He probably said to them, haven't found anything. And to be perfectly honest with you, it's, we're probably not going to find anything. Okay, let's try to recap. First, a couple things happened. Rod Rosenstein had a meeting with congressional uh, Democrats and Republicans, presumably. Uh, and in that meeting, which we don't know exactly what was said, but we can kind of assume what was said based on the reactions of Republicans and Democrats coming out of that meeting. The Republicans seem to be rather pleased with what happened in the meeting. The Democrats, Nancy Pelosi is calling for a separate commission. That's like saying, I don't believe Mueller's going to get to the bottom of this, even though we said we trusted him. So we need a separate commission like the 9-11 commission. Well, that's just not going to happen. And and how do we know that, that she's really worried about Mueller wrapping this thing up quickly, too quickly for her? Because, you know, they, they let's face it, Democrats would like this to go on forever. So she wants a commission because a commission can go on forever and, uh, and just endlessly investigate. And, uh, and so what's the real giveaway? The real giveaway is this cartoonish looking congressman from California, uh, Brad Sherman, who, who, who kind of looks like Larry from the Three Stooges, if you take a good look at him. And he comes out and he says uh, that, well, you know, if you're an incompetent collude, colluder, if you're guilty of, of collusion, but you're incompetent at it, that's real easy to find. We find that. But if you're competent, I mean, you may never be found. So in other words, even if Mueller doesn't find anything that can be really called collusion. That doesn't mean Trump didn't commit collusion, according to Brad Sherman. It just means he's really, really good at it. See, this is how stupid they think you are. Imagine, imagine the line that they're feeding you now. They, they want you to believe not only that Trump colluded, there's absolute, by the way, let's stop a second. There is absolutely no evidence that Trump colluded with anybody. 
I mean, they, he had meetings and even Brad Sherman in this quote that I have, he even says, it's not unusual for, for uh, people to meet, you know, ambassadors and delegates from other countries. I, I mean, he is blowing up the Democrats case right there. And, but, but it's, it's hilarious because he's trying to set up the case and I'm sure if Pelosi found out, she'd wring his neck for saying this. He's trying to say that even if Trump is not found to be colluding with the Russians, that he probably really still is, and he's just really good at it. Now that's something that you got. You would have to really be just so deep into the Kool Aid to believe that kind of crap that. I feel sorry for you. But anyway, this is what I wanted to bring to you today. I thought it was interesting because that Brad Sherman guy, he just like, he hit it out of the park as far as I'm concerned. That was like, he went yard. <laughs> I thought it was great. Take care, guys.